Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this quick, easy look. I wanted a minimal makeup look, something that was gonna be light, airy, and not difficult. And yeah, I did it, I like it. Some of the products that I'm using today are drugstore, other products are a little bit more high-end. I have Maybelline, House Labs, Makeup Forever, Bosma, NYX, Clio. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing the two bronzers. One is the Makeup Forever Artist Bronzer and the other one is the House Labs Bronzer. I'm comparing the colors and I think you'll be interested in the results. So stay tuned for that. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so happy to see you. And if you haven't been here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, hoping to help you out. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna keep it short and let's get going. Well, I attempted a curly hairstyle today. I can see where I missed putting product. The rest of it actually looks okay though, but I can't stand it on my face, so I'm going to put it up. Right, I got this. All right, let me see what they sent me. Oh, I have purple. Haha, <laughs> look. Oh, I love this color. Yay. This is so kind, thank you Urban Decay. They gave me a full size of the All Nighter Setting Spray. This is an all time favorite. It's a foolproof setting spray. I was gonna buy this for the sale and I was hoping they would send this to me. I hope it's the right color. So this is their new waterproof foundation up to 24 hour wear, 3% niacinamide. Can't feel the coverage. They gave me two fair neutral. I hope it matches. Oh, I think it's gonna be too light. Yeah. It's gonna to be too light, much too light. I wish they had asked me what color to send. That does feel like a long wear foundation, for sure. My daughter might like that. Already I feel like this might not be for a dry skin. It can be for a dry skin if you prep really well. I'm gonna play around with this more when my self tan fades. I freshly self tanned. I don't know if it would even match my fairest part of my body though. Yeah, that's quite light. Even there, it's really light. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this work. I'll let my daughter try it. Maybe I'll pick one up for the sale. There goes that idea. I think everything I have in front of me is for light, fair skin. So the plan tonight is a late dinner, hanging around with my husband outside. It's beautiful outside, probably editing. I may go in with the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint first and see what that looks like. Maybe it will be enough, I'm not sure. Might be too dark too. I got this in a color that's a little dark, it's 220. So I did pick up the 110. I could actually mix the two, or do I need to? It's so sheer that it's forgiving. It's a great way to cheat up your color. I really wanna try not to tan my face because I get all those dark spots. I say that all the time and I'm addicted. It really is an addiction. It's not that I'm fair. It's all the discoloration. I literally have everything going on. I have all the freckles, I have the redness, I have hyperpigmentation. Yeah, I get a bit self-conscious about it. This gives me a bit more confidence, but I definitely don't match. So to correct this, I'm gonna go in with the 110. I should have mixed them, but I'm just gonna show you how I fix that. Yeah, that lightened that up a little bit. I'm sorry, this is not 110, it's 118. that lighten it up a little bit what happens if I mix that and go down my neck and I would do my ears too if I was going out like if you're going to a party or a wedding I don't really want to keep going because I don't want to get it on my clothes So my concealer is gonna be lighter and that will tie everything in. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Concealer. And this is in 2C2. Um, maybe a little bit there, maybe a little bit there. All right. Take a step back. My arms are really red. If I were to go to a wedding, I would do the same thing on my red arms. 
especially back here. So I wanted to discuss contour. When I was younger, I had a fuller face. I still have a fuller face, but now that I've aged and it started happening probably in my late 20s where I started getting more indented here. So we have to think about contouring as we age. Most of our faces are dropping, which means we're hollowing out a little bit here. When you contour your face, like, do we want to do that? That's why you don't see me contour very often. If I do, it's a very small amount. I go for bronzers more than I do contour because it still gives a definition and dimension to my face without it chiseling out my cheeks. I don't want to chisel out my cheeks. So I would consider that. Take a look at the shape of your face, how you're aging, and if you're already hollowing out there, use bronzer to warm up your face and blush to pull out your cheeks. Where I really see I want a bronzer is right here. I don't have to have a bronzer here. I probably will. In fact, I know I will. Let me get one. I remembered what I wanted to do. In one of my videos, I compared the two bronzers. One is the Artist Bronzer by Makeup Forever, and then the other one is House Labs number five. They both have a red undertone to them, and I love both. Let me put them up side by side. So they're not far off. I'm gonna show you on my cheeks. I really wanna do that. All right, this is the House Labs, and this is the Makeup Forever. You know what, let me try it here. So this is House Labs. And where am I? <laughs> and this is, oh, that's gonna be, that's quite different. Okay, let's do Wild Sand. Let's put that right here. Okay, I know I like this one. I know I like this one. I haven't tried this one. Feel like it's gonna be a little dark, but I used my finger, so we really don't know. So if I use a light hand. No, that's nice. Okay, this is Makeup Forever. I want another light brush and I will compare it to House Labs. Hmm, they're both pretty. I don't know, they're both nice. Let me know what you guys think. This is Makeup Forever. and then House Labs. Much softer. I wanna go back in with my Artist Bronzer in here, just to get more depth. So this is where the sun would naturally hit. Both pretty, I'm glad I did that. I wanna try this Bosma again. This is the color mauve. I'm gonna use an Angie Hot and Flashy. This is an A507. It's a little bit flexible, but not too big, so I'm not gonna get a big splooch everywhere. One thing I always notice about me, and I kind of have this indent anyways, but I can see that there's a shadow there. So I want to touch that up a little bit. Let me go into 118 again from the Superstay tint. Touch this up right there. Make sure it doesn't go too low. It's interesting watching myself on videos while I edit because I can see these things of where I need to get better and you know, be a bit more careful. I mean, nobody's picking at it like I am really, but I think that makes a difference. Right, I've been using this a lot too. This is the Cleo Kill Lash Mascara and we talked about this on a live as well. I think it was Tracy that mentioned this in our live and I've watched Alexandra Anel use it in her videos, so I had to give it a try. Now I have to tell you, it is difficult to get off. Like, you need an oil. 
So I don't even know. I don't think I'm going to put any eyeshadow on. I may change my mind. It's nice to see it without eyeshadow so that you can really get the full impact of the mascara. How did I make a mess? Let me zoom you in for this. This mascara holds the curl. It separates your lashes and it layers well. I would consider this a lengthening mascara for sure. Yeah, like you can't beat that. And I love how narrow the wand is. It's easy. I know I splooched, but that's not normal. Did I make a mess? No, I think I'm good. I find if I get a really good curl, I have to almost chase after the ends. By the way, I'm gonna leave all the products listed in the description box for you. Some will be Amazon and some will be Sephora. I'll put an Ulta link as well for you. For my Canadian viewers, do you want a Shoppers Drug Mart link or Amazon link? I've never actually ordered from Shoppers Drug Mart, but you can collect your points, so that'd be good. I wonder what the delivery is like from Shoppers Drug Mart. I should try it and let you know. I can feel my lashes touching my lids. <laughs> Yay. I'm going to use Benefit Goof Proof. Using a powder is just a little softer and that's the mood I'm going for. To, well, is it? I don't know. I don't know, it's quick, easy. This is my reality. Most of the time if I'm not filming, this is what I look like. Unless I get to go out. I'm just gonna use a bit of NYX fat oil. This is in the color Supermodel. Well, I'm happy with that. This was so easy, so quick. Minimal makeup, I feel fresh. I hope this video helps you in some way. If it did, hit the like button. If it didn't, hit the like button. I need those likes. I need that engagement. It'll tell the algorithm to show this video to more people and that will help me grow and I'll be so happy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.